Well, hello everybody. It is Sunday, September 18th, 2022, and I just thought I'd do a little update on what's growing in the yard, some of the gardens. So this is in the salvia family, and it's out by the, the mailbox. And there are fewer bees these days. It's uh, starting to brown a little bit. I still have some of my bee buddies out here. Across the field, that is our field across the street there. It's two and a half acres. A lot of wildflowers still blooming. We will bush hog that this year. It keeps the field healthy. Do it about every other year. Then over here, this big old overgrown bush, and I'm gonna bring you over here. This was the original garden I put in back here. I tucked it in between these red twig dogwood bushes. So this is the last of the, the two original tomato plants and they've had a kind of ragged period. You know, we had hornworms, but we still have rough ripening fruit on these. Uh, that one as well should say vegetable, right? And yeah, we did have some hornworm activity. You can see the bare branches and also some, some of the browning it falls on its way. You have the three pepper plants here in the front and this was serrano, red pepper, and green pepper. And we still have some some uh, flowers on these. So I'm I don't know if he's going to make any more set any more vegetables or not. But and then the, he got some big old mushrooms on him the other day. <laughs> I always enjoy seeing mushrooms. All the all the fungus and moss and uh, liverworts and all the things that come up out of the soil. So and onto the trees. So this was the second bed I put in this year and I'm fondly calling this the jungle because I it's just gotten wild. <laughs> but this is melons, basil, marigolds, giant marigolds, and one tomato plant. So if you can see right in the middle there there are two Indiana rock melons hard at work. And then this in the front, these were just little, I thought were going to be small marigolds. They have become huge. They're almost as tall as I am. But, and not a flower until I think we're just about to get finally a flower. And I guess that will be a giant marigold. And some of its surrounding neighbors here look like they're getting ready to flower as well. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> And then we have the basil in the back. Uh, it's taking a little bit of a beating. We have some browning. It rained so much a week ago, like four days straight. And I think we had a little, uh, I'm not sure if it was some kind of a fungus. But happily, happily right here we have a watermelon. And I put him in a little pantyhose hammock. And there he is. So I think he's happy in his little protection there. And then there are a number of little baby uh, watermelons at work. Of course, right now I can't find anybody. You know, they start out like this. That's the female uh, flower. And then little guys like this form. So I don't know if you can see him real well here. There we go. It's just a little baby watermelon. <laughs> so we have about a month till the first frost. And these vines, they just came out came out of the whole business and are working their way over to the heat pump air conditioner unit. So I don't know. Here, here we have another little little fuzzy watermelon who got started. There he is. I can't there we go. Get a good look at him. So, here's another little watermelon right here. Like I said, we have about a month to go, so I'm hoping, and over here you see a few more. Now my bee's not real happy I'm coming in here. There we go, a couple more little baby watermelons. So we'll see, we'll see how that all goes. I'll, I'll do another update 
And then this was one, I did a cutting off of the other tomato plants, put him in water and he got roots. So I put him over here and he just went crazy. So I did cut him back. As you can see, there's evidence of me pruning this guy. But he has a lot of tomatoes on him. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna, gonna hang in there and see how many of these ripen. I've picked some red fruit off this one already. And then there's more of the Indiana rock melon vines coming out. So, uh, you know, I underestimated how much room vining plants need, but I'm real happy with that trellis. And I think next year I'll be able to, I'll do just two plants in there instead of six. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So that's the jungle. Then over here we have a huge bush, which is a combination of lilac bush and honeysuckle, and it's just gotten wildly overgrown. But I'm happy with it because it's the bees love all that honeysuckle. Birds have a place to, to tuck in, and it gives us a little privacy from the neighbor. I love our neighbors, but privacy is still a good thing. And then the last thing we planted this year was five holly bushes. And there they are. So supposedly there's two girls in the front and three boys in the back, male and female plants. And these female plants, I'm real happy with because look at all the berries. Can you imagine that against the snow? Oh, I'm so pleased with these guys. And we used, we amended the soil. The soil out here was kind of hard and dry. So we put in a lot of compost and peat moss and made that soil nice and loose around it and then we were lucky because right after we planted it rained for a couple days and really got them settled in. And that leaf mulch is leaf from last year and uh, that's been working real well to keep that soil from drying out. So here's the boys. One, two, and three. This guy was a little dry when I bought him, but he seems to be doing okay. He's got some nice new green leaves. So happiness all around with these guys. I'm, I'm real pleased with them. So they supposedly grow very slowly, like one to two feet a year, but they supposedly can get 10 feet tall and about eight feet wide. So if that's true, we'll get a, a nice little grouping over here, a nice little hedge in time. That's gonna take a while, but we're not going anywhere, hopefully. So that's it. The, oh, the last thing I'll show you, these Arbor Vitae in the front. When we moved here six years ago, those were only up to about my knee. And now they're over the roof line. So I'm real pleased with those. So there you have it. It's a beautiful day. There's a buzzard up in the sky. I don't know if you can see him. Just swooping around. So thank you for spending a little time with me. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And until next time, bye for now.